Hey guys, I'm here in Dresden. It's like 9 a.m. Last night we ate at a restaurant and there was this guy who was very excited about playing piano. <laughs> I'm standing in what looks like, you know, a town square. It's all nice and dandy, except when you look up, you see this. Complete coverage. When I asked my aunt what it was, she said it was to prevent rain. And this is the only proof I can give you that it always rains in Europe. I'm not joking. Like, in Germany and Amsterdam, and we always hear about the British rain. What kind of tea do you drink? Probably green or black. Well, I'm having red tea. Yes, it's red, it's fruit, and it's delicious. So I've been in like two or three museums in here, and I think there's a couple more. And what's really cool is this is all Augustus the Strong's house, or it was. I'm not sure how old it is. Most of it's actually new because a lot of it burned down. So like the other place I went to, I'm at the Swinger, and I'm in like the biggest courtyard I've ever been in. And I'm going to do a slow like circle just so you guys understand the vastness of this place. We're about to see um, the armory, which has a bunch of like old knight stuff, which is really cool. And we're also going to see, um, hopefully, the scientific physics math part, which will have like all these cool astronomical things. You may have noticed on my trips, everything's always closed. And fortunately, the one thing I really wanted to go to is closed. So we're out to eat at like the most expensive restaurant here. And if you can see it, there's the cycling park. But we got this kind of um, retro looking thing. You got your leather chairs. Say hi, Nikki. Hi. You got these little figurines, even more. Some German books, which are expected, but I, I just, it doesn't feel German. It almost feels American. The coolest thing, I think, is the shower because it closes this way and this way. And it's hard to open, but I don't know, I thought that was cool. And then, got a nice little mirror where you can see yourself, and a nice little bed. So, hmm. Okay, so a brief history of Dresden. It was a city, and throughout the whole war, it hadn't been bombed. It was a, just a city, it was full of women and children. And as a revenge tactic, uh, Great Britain and the US, and I'm not sure who else, decided to bomb it. Well, Dresden ended up being rebuilt. It's made out of sandstone, and sandstone also turns black. So what I think is this statue is actually one of the originals, whereas this one is a reconstruction, as you can see, from her being white. The great thing about Dresden is if you don't like walking very far, but you like looking at old things, but you're afraid of hurting them, it's a good place because all the stuff is new, looks old, and it's all in the same place. So I'm at the Dresden Opera House. It is completely beautiful, and I'm with my aunt, and we're seeing a short little opera play symphony. It, it, it's, I don't know what it is. It's a small, it's not an orchestra. It's Thank a, you. Yeah, bitte. Thank you. Um, I don't know what it is. So it was like an opera play orchestra thing, and it was really interesting. I have no idea what happened in it because it was all German. No, it was Italian. It was Italian? <laughs> yeah, it was no, they spoke German. They spoke some German, but most of it was Italian. Oh, well, I only recognized the German part, but apparently it was German and Italian. <laughs> and um, before I cut this off, I want you guys to look at this. Every single place I go has this. Instead of marble, to show how rich they are, they use Sargon and pigs or goat's blood and some weird stuff like that to make an even more expensive fake marble. I've seen many statues in my life, but I've never seen a statue with glasses. We're going on a tower and we have to climb all these stairs and while I was trying to take a picture, my aunt tried to kill me. She's trying to show you the way up. Yeah, she's a bitch. I'm almost to this tower and if you listen, I think that's the wind. Welcome to Dresden. You can hear me. You guys might remember that um, rain thing. There it is. Okay, so apparently this well that I just started standing over and noticed is eight meters deep. So I'm sitting here enjoying my meal, and I look down and I see bird poop, and then I look up and it's a tree full of birds. Finished with the museum. It was completely awesome. Um, I think I did this puzzle wrong. 
long because Nikki said she took hours on it and it took me, what, five seconds maybe? Maybe ten. Maybe ten seconds, but less than thirty at least. And we were so lucky. We had like two, one of two of the like most talked about things in the world, especially in my it psychology was, like, classes. Much more jumbled up when Matt and I did that puzzle. It, they had kind of prearranged it so that it was much easier for you for some reason. I did it twice. So you even wrong. messed it up for me. Anyway, they had religion around the world, which they didn't have mine. I'm a deist, by the way. And they also had this thing is what is beautiful, which is really cool because a lot of the experiments that it had, like, um, um digitally altered photos to be like half the face be exactly the same as the other half and it was so cool to see. What was your favorite part? It's always the green bowl. I like the green bowl too. I like but those noodles. I like, I like those. Uh, applause restaurant in yeah. Dresden is good.